You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about ESPN. ESPN is in a bit of hot water, maybe just a little bit. You know, uh, actually, it's more uh, specifically a sports center, a.k.a. Walt Center, because there's a new documentary coming out, folks, and it's about the 1986 Mets. Now, I am familiar with that team because my Houston Astros lost to them in the NL- NLCS in uh, 1986, four games to two. So I know that team pretty well. I remember as a kid uh, growing up watching baseball, a whole bunch of baseball, especially back in the 80s and the 90s. But however, there's a documentary series that ESPN is putting out on the 86 Mets. And they actually promoted it on SportsCenter, which I'm pretty sure none of you guys actually watch because SportsCenter is completely, completely dead that's why it's called Woke Center. That's why we call ESPN, ESP, CNN. They have tuned so many people out. But however, guys, Lenny Dystra dropped multiple F bombs on Sports Center, and it's not his fault. It's ESPN's fault because they ran the clip, and somebody did not do that job in editing. So let's check this out. ESPN apologizes after airing. Two F-bombs in clip promoting 1986 Mets documentary. Now, I did actually uh, watch the clip and Lenny Dystra is there. He's basically just breaking down a play and he does drop two F-bombs talking about the play. It says here when Lenny Dystra is involved, it's always a good idea to expect some four strong four letter words. ESPN apologized Wednesday after airing a clip in which Dystra dropped two F-bombs, according to Awful Announcing. The clip, which promoted the network's upcoming documentary on a 1986 New York Mets, featured Dystra recalling a play from the team's World Series run. Dystra used two F-bombs in a clip. On the surface, that shouldn't be a problem. ESPN included profanity in the last dance, the documentary about the Chicago Bulls final championship with Michael Jordan. And I remember that, guys. There was a bunch of bad language in uh, that documentary. Also, uh, OJ Made in America. Uh, there was the N-word being used in that um, as well. But it says here, but there was one key difference between The Last Dance and the Dystra clip that aired Wednesday. The Dystra clip was played during Sports Center, which is supposed to be, you know, family friendly and not a lot of uh, strong languages. But I digress. Because of that, Anchor Kevin Magandhi apologized for the language once the promo was over. <laughs> Quote, we apologize for the language that was used. Nagandi said, you will see that during the broadcast of the piece, not normally on SportsCenter. Well, until now, folks, you do get to see it on SportsCenter now. The documentary titled Once Upon a Time in Queens began airing Tuesday night. I didn't even know that. Uh, ESPN will run. Both the third and fourth part of the documentary Wednesday, those broadcasts will include profanity. ESPN will likely include a disclaimer in front of both parts to warn viewers they are going to hear some cursing. Now, if you watch The Last Dance, if you watch uh, OJ Man in America, I do believe they put those disclaimers at the beginning. I don't necessarily remember off the top of my head, but I know both of those documentary series definitely has some strong language. And we know Michael Jordan In the last dance, what he was saying to Larry Bird. Yeah, you can't say that on regular TV. ESPN didn't warn viewers during the Sports Center broadcast, which aired earlier in the day. It's likely not the first time fans of ESPN have heard expletives on the network. Hot mites often pick up some nasty language from players and coaches. Those instances are beyond ESPN's control. Wednesday's clip was supposed to be edited before it aired on Sports Center. I'm pretty sure somebody got in trouble. Now, they're right about the hot mites. I remember uh, Cold Pizza. I believe this was like in 2006 or so. They had the uh, the former coach of the uh, then New Jersey Nets. I can't remember his name. 
but he actually thought they were on commercial. They were still live. I remember actually sitting down in my apartment watching it and he had dropped like, I don't know, five F bombs or something. And then when it came back from commercial, they said that, uh, I uh, will apologize. He didn't know we were still on the air, that kind of thing. I don't think anything actually happened to him because he actually wasn't an ESPN employee. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of ESPN making this kind of a gaffe? F bombs on Sports Center. Don't hear that very often. Did are you guys actually going to end up watching this uh, documentary? I didn't even know that this documentary was made. I believe they said it already started like on Tuesday night. Uh, well, if you don't watch Sports Center, I guess you don't know. And I have not watched Sports Center in I want to say seven, eight years. It's been a long, long time since I actually watched Sports Center. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.